Hi guys, Sean here from DigiDirect. Today we're going to be taking a look at a trio of audio and vlogging related products from SmallRig. We'll look at the Simor Wave U1, which is a desktop USB microphone. Then we'll look at the Forvala S20, which is an on-camera shotgun microphone that comes with a lav mic. And finally, we'll look at the VK50, which is a, a vlogging kit for your mobile phone. Now, the key tying all of these three products together is the low price. These are all quite budget options, so if you're a budget-conscious shopper, these are a good place to start. So we'll start with the Simor Wave U1 microphone, which is a desktop USB condenser microphone. And I'm using this mic to capture my audio right now, so you can get an idea of the audio quality from it. Now, this is a mic that you could use for streaming, uh, for videos, even for Zoom or conference calls and so on. The mic is fairly compact, doesn't take up a lot of real estate on your desk. Uh, it's got the mic itself, the bass, and a small extension tube to give you a little bit of extra height as well. Now this does have a standard 5 8 thread on here, so you could attach this mic to any other standard mic stand, which we will test out in a moment here. Now the, the base has a little ball socket built into here, so you can adjust the angle of the microphone a little bit. You're going to want to aim it so that the, you're speaking into the front of the microphone, not the top. The mic does have a cardioid pickup pattern, so it's going to pick up what's in front of it and reject what is behind it. So it's not a two-way interview mic, it's just going to try and isolate your vocals. The mic plugs into your computer via an included USB cable, which is USB-C on the side of the mic, and on the side going into your computer can either be USB-C or USB-A. There's a little adapter on there, which is nice. Interestingly, the cable also has an inline headphone jack, so you can monitor your audio directly from the mic through that jack if you like. There's no software needed here and no batteries either. It's powered by the, uh, the USB connection to the computer. Uh, so you don't really need to do any kind of setup. It's really plug and play. Works with Windows and Mac OS. You can use it with a huge range of software like Discord, OBS, and so on. There's also a volume uh, control dial here in the front. That's this silver ring here. And you can mute the microphone by pressing this button in the middle. When it's muted, the ring of LEDs turns red. So you can see that visually. So now I have the mic mounted on a more traditional mic stand just so that I can get it a bit closer to my mouth. Like any microphone, when you get the sound source close to the mic, you're going to have that sound source be picked up clearer and you're going to have less ambient noise being picked up in the background. So the audio quality, you should hear an improvement here compared to when it was on the desktop. I think the audio quality on the desktop stand is fine, but if you want to absolutely maximize the quality, put it on a mic stand. And this applies to any microphone, not just this one. Overall, I think the Simor Wave U1 is a very good mic. It's simple, it's easy to use, uh, you know, very effective. I think the audio quality is good. Also, I should mention the pricing factor. This is a very inexpensive microphone. Compared to the popular competitors in this category, for example, the Rode NT-USB Mini is about twice the price of this mic, and the Blue Yeti microphone is about four times the price. So it's a very good value for money proposition. So now let's take a look at the Forvala S20 on-camera shotgun microphone. I've got that on my camera right now, and I'm using that to record my audio, which is why I've stepped a little bit closer to the camera, so you can get an idea of what the audio quality is like. This is an on-camera shotgun microphone uh, with an included shotgun mount. You'll mount it on the hot shoe mount of your camera. It comes with a cable to plug it into the camera or an alternate cable so you can plug it into a phone as well. Plus a dead cat here, so it'll reduce the wind noise when you're outdoors. I do have a bit of a breeze here outdoors, so that's helping with that. So where this gets more interesting is with the inclusion of the lav mic, and let's switch over to the audio from that right now. So now you're hearing the lav mic audio. The lav mic plugs into the shotgun microphone, and then you set the shotgun microphone to stereo mode. Now, in the stereo track, which is a left channel and a right channel, one of those channels is going to record the, the uh, audio from the shotgun mic, one of those is going to record the audio from the lav mic. In your video editor and post-production, you can then separate those tracks out, you can independently adjust the levels of one or the other, Everything's going to be automatically synced up, both with each other and with the video. Why is this useful? This is really handy if you're wanting to shoot something where you want to capture, maybe with a shotgun microphone, the ambient noise of the area that you're in, or maybe an interview person that you're interviewing, but you want to have your dialogue still be isolated by the lav mic. Maybe you're behind the camera or so on. Now, in one product, you can have both of these things completely isolated. So let's take a quick look at an example of that. So I'm here speaking with uh, singer Minik Angel. Minik, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Good, thank you. Uh, and you're a singer-songwriter. Uh, what instrument do you play? So I play piano, and I write all the vocals and sing all the harmonies on my songs. Um, my music's kind of like a mix between Elton John, Queen, Kate Bush kind of style. Okay, and you've got a new EP coming out soon? Yeah, it's actually a collection of singles that I'll be releasing later this year. This is really interesting functionality. I can't really think of another product that has this kind of dual sound source uh, system implemented into it. Very inexpensive and easy way to get good run and gun vlogging or interview setup if you don't want to have a more elaborate uh, sound recording system. 
And of course, if you don't want to use it that way, the shotgun microphone works fine by itself as of the lav mic. Uh, so you can kind of just get two mics in one, even if you're not going to be combining them. Finally, let's look at the VK50 vlogging kit, which is a kit full of everything that you'll need to turn your mobile phone into a vlogging setup. It all comes in this really nice zippered hard case. To start, there's a tabletop tripod stand with a ball head, which can also double as a hand grip. You'll mount your phone on this phone clamp here that's included. That clamp also has a cold shoe mount at the top, which is where you can mount the included shotgun mic on its shock mount. Note that shock mount also has a quarter 20 thread on it if you wanted to mount it somewhere else. There's a dead cat for that mic in order to reduce wind noise when you're outdoors. And you've got cables to connect the mic to your phone or also to a camera. So you could use this mic with your camera kit as well. There's even a nifty LED light here with a built-in diffuser and you can adjust the strength of the light. That light charges via USB with an included charging cable. The light is also hot shoe mounted and again it has a quarter 20 thread in it as well if you wanted to mount it somewhere else. If you want both the mic and the light in use at the same time, you can use this included magic arm which screws into the phone clamp and gives you two cold shoe mounts so you can use both of them together. Finally, you also get this nice little bag. Overall, this is a great little kit. As long as you've got the phone, this completely has everything else that you'll need. So I hope you found that helpful. All of these products can be purchased on our website at www.digidirect.com.au or in one of our stores. We have stores in the Sydney CBD, Bondi Junction, Miranda, the Brisbane and Melbourne CBD, and Canix in Western Australia, which is just outside the Perth CBD. Thanks guys, take care.